Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do a trifold print and the concepts about what printing is with bleed, with margins, and with resizing, and how there can be problems if you don't think about the math involved. So in Illustrator, if I drop this down right here, this little ruler, down to the bottom, top left side of this blue, you'll notice that I'm at zero here, right here, and here, zero and zero. And if I go across, I'm up at 11. So that's 11 wide, and then over here, eight and a half tall. So that's eight and a half by 11. Then if I go into wireframe mode, I click on one of my black boxes I've made, and I can make a copy. So this copy lets me know I am definitely within the guidelines of being a perfect three division for eight and a half by 11, as close as, you know, math with a floating point can be. So it's 3.333334, etc. We know that. I put guidelines in because there is a bit of a margin for the text and a fold point. It's very tight because a lot of this text is taking up a lot of space. Not a big problem. I'm also using colors in here. So if I blow up here, it'd be a little more obvious that the fold point has the dark blue folding over from the other side and the light blue is almost like an inset, but still has enough space so the text isn't touching the fold itself. It's artistic. Now I come back out, and you'll see at the bottom, some of the images go way past the design, which isn't a problem. So at 8.5 by 11, this is going to look exactly like this. I can even do a preview here if I do one of these pages. File. And I could do export for web legacy one of the pages and i'll blow it up a little bit here so you can see a little bit better that is a perfect design at eight and a half by eleven and it will fold without a problem both sides exactly where it's supposed to be so now if i get rid of this and i move this out of the way now we're going to do the math problem what we need is a bleed now in the browser i went over here to show just a little bit of what bleed might be. So if we go to printing bleed, this is the bleed. You have the paper that's white and the margin where you don't want to print your text. It's too close to the edge. Then you have the bleed, which goes past where the printer is going to cut this paper to eight and a half by 11. So that means this paper has to be larger than eight and a half by 11. It has to be, in this case, 0 0.125 inches all around the edges and that's going to be cut off because if you have yellow going all the way across and for instance we went to a printing company and they printed on rollers that color for instance if this is the case that color would be printed on the roller and smudge each time here so now let's go back and take a look in 3d and i'm going to make a plane right here a trifold plane if you would and I'm going to have, make it have three length segments and one width segment. Or maybe we can do one length, one three width. So it's a trifold. And for the length, of course, we want it to be longer. So that's going to be the 11 inch side. And for the width, we're going to put 8.5. That's your trifold right there. Eight and a half by 11, and that's a trifold. Now, what if someone gives you right here as a copy? Okay. What if somebody gives you instead, I'll do, open up the calculator to show you, what's 8.5 plus 0 0.125 for the left, right, top border. So what is that? And I did that wrong. We'll try that again. So I'll open up a calculator and we'll put 8.5 inches plus 0 0.1. Uh, there we go. 0 0.125 inches. Still didn't do it. 0 0.125. And it doesn't want to do it. All right, we'll try it again. So I'll open up calculator and show you 8.5 plus 0 0.125 for the left, plus 0 0.125 for the right. 
it's 8.75 inches. So instead of 8.5, we're going to have 8.75, right? And instead of 11, we're going to have 11 plus the border, which is 11.25. So 11.25 by 8.75. Slight difference, not much, but a slight difference. Now, if I put this on the top view, there we go. And I center this object to this object and it's centered. Angle orientation doesn't matter, just the center point, right? Let's scroll in. Now, if you look at the top view, you will notice if you fold this piece of paper and print it out, the fold marks aren't in the same place, are they? They're in slightly different places. So when you resize something to print with this extra bleed that we've created, and you maybe scale it by accident, like this, it's going to change on the 8.5 by 11, which is the bigger one, where this might fold. So that's not going to fold in the right place. You have to print it 8.5 by 11 as the artwork, 8.75 by 11.25 as the artwork bleeding out to the edge for the color can get cut. And then, most likely, the paper that it gets printed on is also a little bit bigger depending on the printing company and how they do what they do. So you have a slightly bigger piece of paper right here. That's this piece of paper. This is the point at which you extend your artwork, the blues and the yellows that I have. And then this is the actual design that's going to be printed. And then they're going to use a machine that actually cuts that. So they'll actually use something that looks similar to this and they will cut into the actual design. If you look at it in three dimensions, I'll show you like this. So this machine with a cutting tool will go right into that and go and cut that off. Cut it right down in, all right? That's why you have the cut marks for the edge of the paper and the bleed that goes past. So you can have like a blue, et cetera, and white paper so it doesn't mess up the roller. So when you do this, the actual roller itself won't get damaged. So there was a roller like this, printing things out. And we rotated that, and I showed you how it works. You certainly wouldn't want, if I move this over here, you certainly wouldn't want this roller to get any of the ink color on the side. Because if, as this printed out, right it might get stuck in the roller itself and smear all over the place i'm sure you've done that before and something's been smeared on something so what they do is they leave nice white paper they only let ink touch this side and so it never touches the actual roller itself that's why you get a bleed and then a, even a larger piece of paper and then you cut it once it's done on all four sides that's how it's done in printing now if you print this out on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, what's gonna happen is, here's your, here's your slightly smaller one, which is your design, eight and a half by 11. If you print this out at eight and a half by 11, right? And then you go to something like Photoshop and you ask it to please print this out. What's gonna happen in a larger design, it's gonna print out at 97% in this case. So it's not gonna be the size that you want. So if I do the back side, for instance, and then it renders this out in a second, it'll ask you right here, 11.25 by 8.75 inches, 300 dots per inch. It loads it in, there's the design. But that's with what I've already created. If you look right here, I've already created extra blue, extra yellow, and extra baby blue on the side that isn't in the design. That is what happens with the bleed. Now, if someone prints this, it's going to say, warning, we have a problem. There's going to be parts that are uh, out of the design area. So if I do wide versus tall, you'll notice that it says very specifically, hey, see, there's no blue on the side. That's the bleed I created. 
it'll cut it right to there for eight and a half by 11. So that doesn't work. So it is already centered in Photoshop or other programs and printing companies that have different programs for the printer themselves, software for the printer itself. Scale 100%, 8.75 by 11.25, right? You have to find the printer or the print settings and change it so it doesn't resize it. Because if we resize it, scale to fit media. See how that, re that shrunk it down? Well, when you shrink it down and you print it out on an eight and a half by 11 printer, it's gonna mess up where the fold marks are. So the center points are gonna shrink down, but the piece of paper is the same size, so it won't fold right. That's a problem. So you asked for something specifically that had a specific bleed of 0 0.125 inches, which I did. And then I built that exactly like this, exactly as it was supposed to be. So in there, it would look something like this. And here's the actual bleed marks. See, a little bit of a difference. If I go from the top, you can see here, there's an ever so slight difference. And I'll bring this up just a little bit to show you on the top view. See, just a slight difference. And I'll move the cutter that I created. So this, this is the, the paper. The red is the bleed that will be cut off. And then in the center point, let's, for illustration purposes, show you. That would be something like this. So you can see, print, the bleed that gets cut, and the larger paper so nothing gets smeared on the roller. That's how a printing company works. That's why they ask for a bleed. Now, if you print on an eight and a half by 11 color laser printer, et cetera, it's usually already going to automatically do this and resize it, and that's not good. Because if you resize it, it changes where the placement of things are, and it won't be able to fold. And that's about it.